Hello guys, Rated here. This is yet another video for three, three days in a row now, super active again. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can change RGBs. So when you import kits uh, to Frosty Editor, make a mod, launch it, uh, and then uh, for some kits, you don't really need to do this. But uh, let me just uh, say example, you make a black kit and you see the the number on his uh, on his shorts is already black and you 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 want to make it white or you make your home kit uh, white and the numbers are white but you want to make him black how do i change that you ask well really simple you can do this both in Creo mode or outside of it, it does really matter, but what is important is after you are done, if you do it in your save, obviously you, you, you just save your save, but if you do it outside your save, uh, after you are done editing, you need to go to profile and save squads, otherwise your changes won't be saved and you will lose everything. So how do you do that? Go to kickoff. Classic match, pick the team you want to edit uh, stuff for. Uh, in my case, let's say Chelsea, because Chelsea fan, all that. Then you need to use a live editor from Aramak 2. You can use RDBM, but trust me, it's much, much, much more simple with live editor. Uh, then you go teams editor. Like super simple. And you see, Chelsea is already opened boom 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 you go to kits and then you have a home kit away kit goalkeeper kit third kit so now let me open this as well so you understand a bit better give me just a sec fifa 20 kits premier league chelsea let me just okay Uh, okay, so you understand what I mean. So home, away, goalkeeper and third kit, you see there, so that's what is unlocked uh, in, uh, in the game at this moment. Then you see that uh, home kit, you have team kit color 1, team kit color 2. Two and three. What does what does that mean? That means uh, what colors are Chelsea kit primarily? Because you see they have blue, blue jersey, blue shorts, and white socks. But for some reason here it says blue. Whatever. Away kit is white. It is white indeed. Then goalkeeper kit is yellow, goalkeeper kit is yellow indeed. And then third kit is black and orange, as it is indeed black and orange. So, team kit color one, this is not 100%, but I think it's pretty sure it's like this and how I like to use it. You make a, you make a home kit that jersey is blue, you put here blue. Uh, color to the shorts, they're blue, you put blue. If the socks are white, you, you put white in there. But then, then you wonder, how do I know what RGB codes? Because RGB stands for RGB codes, they are. For white, I would recommend highly that you use 2020, 2020, 2020. Then you, you're gonna see there that it's white, no? Uh, if you want to make number black, highly suggest you use 25, 25, 25, that's black. For any other number, you can like really easy either Google it uh, to find RGB or give me a second. You can just open Photoshop. Ok, 
give it a second to load. O2, O3. There we go. And then we go, we zoom in and we eye drop and then we open and then we see RGB 16, 61, 123. And then you can write that one. Blah, 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 blah. You put that number in there and then you you save it. Uh, so this home away goalkeeper and third are for the Premier League. As you see, the competition ID is 13. Captain Zarban is 13, so it uh, it will show the Captain Arban uh, from Premier League, no? And then this is also important to change. Let me just see something. Yes. Uh, you know when you start the game and then in the scoreboard uh, just uh, next to your team it's different colors it means what kind of uh, color jersey and shorts you have and this is it this is what you need to change when you make new kits so say this year my kit was blue and blue it will show like fully blue but maybe next year I want to make my kit white and blue so I, I want to change the first color to white then i save it and then in the game when i play it will show white and blue so you you do that for every single kit if you add uh, four kit using my method that i explained in the previous tutorial it will be just under here and uh, after that after you have done that you will go to every single kit you go home kit jersey and then you this is the main color so you put whatever color you want that's like the main color of uh, of the number this is number two <coughs> sorry number two is the color of the logo of the league logo and number three will be the lines around the number and uh, then you have jersey name pretty self-explanatory it, it's the name on the back of the kit make whatever color you want and then you go to shorts and same process main color you have uh, the league logo and then the line around the number sometimes sometimes it's even inside the number it depends on on the league i suppose uh, so what I would suggest you is uh, open like a document or something and write the different RBGs. This is RBG for the home kit, for the away kit, for the third kit, goalkeeper kit. And then you do it like this. First you complete team kit colors for home, away, goalkeeper and third kit. And then you start say with goalkeeper kit. Jersey. Then you write here new, new RBGs 2020, 2020, 2020 then it's 25 25 25 and then again 2020 2020 2020 and i write my name color to be 2020 2020 20 2020 for shorts say i want 2020 2020 2020 25 25 and 2020 2020 2020 then you go down to C14 goalkeeper kit. That's uh, a new competition. So these numbers C14, C60, C61, C2021, 223. It's all competitions that Chelsea is currently playing this season. Uh, I think this is uh, not sure, but I think this is FA Cup. Whatever competition it is, then you do exactly the same thing. As you did here, you just add uh, new new values. 2020, 2020, 2020, 25, oops, 25, 25, and then you just apply changes, <clears throat> and then you just do that for every single competition. I know it's it takes time, but. In my opinion, this is like uh, the easiest way, the simplest way, and I do this as well. This way it doesn't really take 
that much, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. It's not really that that uh, much of time. So yeah. So after you're done, remember to save and then you're good. So yeah. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.